I would just like to say, after the last episode's um, voice problems, uh, I'm not trying to be anything like Sean Dyche. I think he's trying to be me. Then again, thinking about it, who wouldn't want to be me? So, last episode, we beat the mighty Bristol City 2-0 at home um, to start the season, uh, which means it's the best start I've made to a season since last season. See, I know I said I wasn't going to sign any more players, but I may sign some more players. We don't know what Proudy's going to do next. What the fuck are the media on about? I think this is the safest I've ever been in my job. See, I don't know how relegation from the Premier League means that I've sold less season tickets this season. It just shows that we have so many glory hunters from... um, Does anyone know how to return Football Manager 2015? Because it's clearly not realistic. Oh, are they saying Rogers out? So the first three easy points that we're going to achieve this episode is a Capital One Cup game away at Fleetwood Town. Uh, As you can see, I've pretty much robbed the whole squad of first team players. And I'm playing the second string. uh, But we should win. Seeing as Fleetwood are shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh, phew, it's offside. <laughs> Imagine how embarrassing that would have been. <laughs> and the right back, who's our right mid today, Kieran Trippier, gives us the lead uh, on the stroke of our time. I-, I don't think we deserve it, but, you know, who cares? Because I'm winning. And that was that. Exactly. One highlight all game, and it was us who scored the winner. Who does Nick Barnby think he is? He is an average Premier League footballer. He may have achieved more than I did in my life so far, but he didn't beat me, so there we go. I'm better than him. I bet they give me someone very easy away from home. See, I told you they were going to give me an easy draw. Now, where did I put that money for Greg Dyke? So, we have Cholton away in the league now. Uh, we lost them last season in the FA Cup, which isn't surprising considering I lost 90% of the games I played. Um, so, yeah, revenge is on the cards. Uh, but there's no Zidane, so that kind of takes a shine off things as well. Fuck's sake, this never ends, does it? How the fuck are they 2-0 up? Well, that was possibly one of the worst first halves I've seen in about two months. Uh, so we're going to change the formation from the 4-5-1 to go to a 4-2-3-1. And let's see if we can get back into the game. I expect way too much. How about instead of vowing to end your goal drought, you decide to leave the club, Danny Ings, because you're bleeding this club dry. So let's try and keep up our 100% record at home against Bolton Wanderers. Uh, I need to win, uh, because if I don't, then I think I'm going to be sacked. Way to put pressure on yourself, Proudy. Wait, Harry Redknapp is the manager. You know what? Nothing would make me happier than thrashing his bowl inside because he pisses me off so much, it actually hurts. Literally, the only reason I've gone 4-4-2 is because I want to be scoring a lot of goals this season, and this is the only formation that's going to do it. So you can cross that off your Burnley bingo. We have finally got a penalty. And, of course, there was only one outcome there. Well, actually, you could have missed, to be fair. Actually, wait, I feel a rap coming up here. He could have missed, to be fair. But not from there. Yo, yo, bitch. We got Paddy McNair. I think there's only one way to explain what I've just done. I'm a virgin. So anyway, back to the game. Moradonna put us 2-0 up and the game recording software once again has failed on me. And we conceded a pen and we conceded a goal. But Maradona, being the genius himself, scored a free kick to win us the game 3-1. How are you doing, Bowen? Fuck off. 